All right, <clears throat> greetings and salutations, fellow YouTubians. My name is Terry Andrews Jr., also known as the J5 Guru. Uh, so this is uh, kind of a how-to, you know, instructional kind of video uh, for mainly for my guys on the team. Uh, you folks that have waited uh, will have your part CNC machined, and all of the holes that need to be there will already have been, you know, they're in the design. Um, for those of us that are building on the fly and have to, you know, this original, this design here was for uh, linear actuators, so it only had this single hole at the back. Um, we decide, I, you know, we're, we're not going with linear actuators, we're going with the eccentric drive. And um, therefore, we need a series of holes in here that uh, the eccentric drive outer plate you know, that it keys into. Uh, there's a hole here for a quarter inch, uh, that's a clearance hole, and then there's uh, clearance holes here, a quarter inch, and then uh, there's a hole here uh, for a three-eighths inch um, uh, precision clevis pin. This clevis pin actually goes into this and is actually kind of press fit in here. This is not supposed to rotate during operation. Um, and then there's another hole here for being able to get in there with a flat bladed uh, screwdriver to adjust the potentiometer for the uh, feedback uh, for the eccentric drive. So uh, how do we go about getting all these holes in here? Well, uh, I already had to make a, another plate. Uh, where is that? Where did I put it? Where did it go? <laughs> um, let me see. Da, 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 da. What do I do? Oh, that, duh. <laughs> okay, so I have to put the holes in here. Also, uh, when, when uh, Kyle did this, he just spot faced the uh, drill points. And, and uh, so, and that was what, you know, what I wanted him to do because I have these, uh, these pieces of steel angle in here uh, that I needed to precisely locate. And um, so, yeah. I'm like, just put the locations in there, and then I can do it by hand. And that's what I did. And it, it turned out absolutely perfect. Um, but with that being said, you will notice that all of these are marked, like this one's A2, B2, C2, D2. Hopefully that's in focus and in frame. Uh, I had to shut off the autofocus. Uh, I just did this video, and it kept autofocusing. Uh, because of the proximity, but here, so these are all matched to their particular plates, because with countersink holes, if you're off slightly, up, down, left, right, yeah, the screws won't go in, things won't line up, so that's the way I chose to do them, okay, to get the, uh, the precision that I, I needed. So this is a plate I was talking about, I had to, re I had to machine this, but I use this as a, a pattern template, and so I went down here with a simple quarter inch drill bit, no problem. Here I went down through with a number seven because this hole in this particular plate gets tapped. So the uh, number seven size for the uh, quarter 20, I just went through the entire plate. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll just run through with a quarter inch drill through the uh, plates themselves without the, the uh, template in there. And that will open them up for the uh, clearance for the uh, button head screws that go through there. I also went and since I now have both plates sandwiched together, you'll notice basically there's countersink on this side, countersink on this side. Yeah, I basically took both cradle base and sandwiched them together, mirrored them, uh, and then did all my hole drilling here. Now I will say these ones up here, I did to the tap drill size because I haven't yet done that particular piece of uh, of uh, angle iron. I haven't uh, drilled that, so they haven't been made yet. So uh, what I did to locate the holes here is I just uh, used my lathe, made up these little locating pieces. And then that way I could go down through and drill through and make sure that I was centered. Uh, somebody's always bugging me. And yep, 
and drill down through. This one here is quite a bit smaller. This hole is a uh, 3 8 in this particular plate, but on the outside, since the uh, precision clevis pin has a head on it, obviously I have to drill a much larger hole there, so I can't drill a larger hole through here. Uh, but yeah, and uh, our... <laughs> Our tolerance on this is pretty much non-existent. You've either got it right or you don't. Uh, as it turns out, this plate is actually like, I, I, it's just, it's difference in materials. You know, this, this angle might be a little bit, you know, not exactly a half inch uh, wide. Um, so yeah, it's just tolerances. So in order for me to release this, it's actually this bottom piece and top piece actually kind of clamp it in here. I got to back off these uh, these pieces. All right. Hopefully, I'm still in frame here. Uh, and one more. There we go. And that should have released that. Yep, released that enough. And again, I made this little piece here that goes through this hole. Uh, I don't know. Let me see here. Oh, is that one? No. Uh, well, take my word for it. <laughs> But it just, it's a little plug that goes in there, and I got it held in by this washer. It's simply meant to, to key into here to give me that, you know, hey, that's where I need to be. So, yeah. So, there we go. That's how I did it. Guys, I hope that helps you out. Uh, yep. So, now I have the uh, all of the holes needed in both plates at once. And that's the other thing I will mention. Why do both plates at once? Very simple. You want them to be, it, it doesn't matter if they're out five or ten thousandths or, you know, as long as they're equally out. Okay, if I did these individually and I tried to drill these holes, they may not be exactly located symmetrical to each other. When I sandwich these together, there's no possibility of error. Okay. The holes are where they are on both plates. So this way, the eccentric drive, you're not going to have one side that's slightly higher or lower or forward or back. All the holes are in the same location. So these particular plates are forever a set. Okay. So that's the important, another important thing too, when you're, uh, you know, you're doing these sorts of things is, if it's a little bit out, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's an individual robot. We're not doing production line style here where we're making tens of thousands of these where every single part has to fit every other, you know, they, they all have to be identical. Again, if there's slight variations, doesn't matter as long as your robot matches your robot. All right, so that's about it, folks. Uh, hope that helps everybody out a little bit, but yeah, the, uh, good work continues. All right. So, uh, Terry Andrews, Jr., J5 Guru saying bye for now.